Tomba Special Edition, or Tombi, for those outside of America, has launched today on the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 5, and Steam slash PC. I was given a free review copy, and I'm extremely grateful. I would have bought this game anyway, truth be told, because Tomba is a PlayStation classic from 1997 that I absolutely loved. And this is the first time I played it in 27 years. Oh my god, it, it is terrifying how time flies once you get older. Tombi is a 2D platformer in a 3D world. A vibrant and colourful world that blends 3D objects and environments with pixel art, heavily inspired by anime. Controls are as follows. You can move left, right, jump, climb, swing, and hit enemies with your weapon. What is a very fun touch though, is your ability to jump between the foreground and the background. The 3D camera will turn at a slight angle as you run around. A small but constant reminder that this is actually a 3D world and you should keep your eyes open for secrets and new areas not immediately obvious. You will feel right at home as most problems can be solved by you simply jumping on top of it and throwing it away. I mean this in the best possible way when I say I really dig the simplicity and it often leads to many funny moments. Like in order to learn a new language for example, you literally have to chase this poor guy around, jumping on his head, forcing him to speak and you do it enough times that you magically can just speak the language. As you explore your environments, you find items and creatures that start different missions. Often they are random and silly, but sometimes it's serious business as well. The humor is pretty good as well. A small example of this would be a little side mission where you notice some large eggs in the environments. And when you break it open, by jumping on it because in this world we solve everything by jumping on it, a small chick is found inside. Poor thing has to put up with you jumping on it yet again because where is the fun in simply putting it in your pocket? No, no, no. This is Tomba or Tombi. We are going to jump on that poor little chick. After collecting some of these tiny birds, you meet an old man. Literally, just called, and I quote, the 100 year old wise man who gives you the mission to find all the chicks and bring them back to him. Bullies. I did just that, but as the old man asks himself, where are they? W where are we storing the chicks? Where are they? As you probably just saw on the screen right now, Tombi just spits them out of his mouth as the old man freaks out at what he sees. It's a small taste of the silliness, but I appreciate a game that understands what it is and rolls with it. You're not meant to think too hard here, and I highly doubt that our friend is putting too much thought into things either. By the way, if you believe that video games are about escapism and not activism, please, please hit the subscribe button now to empower voices like mine, who believes video games should be respected and not used as a tool for political messaging. Back to Tombi and thank you very much. While beating most enemies is easy enough, the platforming can be rather challenging with rewarding secrets. It's never forced on you in any way. While beating most enemies is easy enough, the platforming can be rather challenging. It's never forced on you 
in a way where you can't proceed unless you do this difficult thing to proceed. But if you want to explore, do some harder swing challenges, then yeah, there's treasure chests for you to find and, you're, and you are rewarded handsomely. The option is there, I like that. You wanna take it easy, you wanna take the easy path, do it, no judgment. You see a much more challenging environment in the background that remember you can jump between the foreground and the background. You want to jump back there and do the harder thing to get the reward? Awesome, that is there for you. Now, even though this game mostly controls like a 2D game, it's rather jam-packed with interactive objects everywhere, and the scenes are packed by design. It makes it so, so it's very easy to overlook something if you're charging ahead, and very rewarding for players who like to play at a slower pace and make sure that they have gotten everything. The music as well deserves a particular shout out. It's very welcoming and helps keep a positive jungle tone going at all times. Your character can level up by the way, in certain areas and new items equipped. Like for example, these smexy pink shorts that I found that lets you run around faster. It's just a nice touch. Don't let the word RPG make you think that this game is something different to what it is. What it is, is a fun 2D platformer with a lot of 3D elements and a lot of jam-packed goodness in it. With very, very light RPG elements, but don't, don't let that throw you. It just means that you unlock a couple things here and there, you get a little bit better, you don't need to think about it too much. The more time you spend in this inviting world, the more small details you realize. I also like that a one-up or slash an extra life is represented by a smaller version of yourself. I miss that about games. Bring on floating heads like Mega Man did for lives and random fruit or food for health. Now, you will do a lot of backtracking in Tombi as you get new items and suddenly more options are granted in older areas. It's not the bad sort of backtracking, mind you. Since this is not a fully 3D game, you won't get lost for hours. You will simply learn with time to have a better eye on things and make some small mental notes like, yeah, I will probably need to come back here once I get the appropriate item. It's that sort of backtracking and the areas are small. So don't let that scare you off if you're the type of person who gets lost, because I am the type of person who gets lost. But it's not too much of an issue here. As I mentioned before, the RPG elements are very light, and most of your joy will come from the platforming. Jumping around, climbing, you can stick to it, almost any surface you jump on, makes a satisfying noise as well. You're swinging, you spend a lot of time swinging, it's fun, it's engaging, and the game keeps doing little tweaks as well to make sure that this doesn't feel repetitive and it feels satisfying to explore and to find those secrets. The controls are quite sharp, you're very rarely going to be frustrated by the game not reacting in time to your button input, or in some games sometimes you're running around and you're slippery on the surface, no no. If you die, if you make a mistake, chances are it's your own doing, and that means you will get better at it. Also some cool features that has been added to this particular version of the game is that you can save at any time. At any time you can save. Now this is an absolute lifesaver for adults and for those of you who have, who have children now. Being able to save at any time, I really appreciate that in games. Once upon a time when I was younger, I was fine with only saving when the game tells me. But when you are older and you are trying to stay a gamer, because it is a commitment, right? You have a lot of responsibilities. And I really appreciate games that let you save whenever because that means if you have a spare 10-15 minutes you can quickly get some gaming in there but if you're playing the type of game where you can only save at certain points that means you can't quickly fit in a game sesh that means if you're playing it you can't stop playing until you reach that save point or you miss out on all your progress another feature which they added which i think is is really good, you know, for those who maybe find the platforming uh, segments a little bit more challenging. I do tend to forget that because I grew up uh, from the start. That's why this channel is called Gaming My Whole Life, right? I've been playing since the original Nintendo, and anyone who grew up during the original Nintendo era knows that the games during that time did not hold your hands, and a lot of games were deliberately hard, so then it would take you long 
clock. The reason why I say that is I tend to forget that the average game, the skill level is typically a bit lower than mine. And they have a good solution for that because I will play this game, I will say it's not too hard because that's just how I've learned. Chances are other people who play this game will find this a bit challenging. But don't let that deter you because the developers have added a rewind feature. Which is fantastic. That means if you fall down a hole, you make a mistake, you lose all your lives, whatever, you can literally pause the game and rewind like an old tape uh, to, to a point where you haven't been hurt, right? So you haven't been hurt. And I think that's fantastic. And that will encourage everyone to, you know, try reach that shiny golden treasure chest in the distance, right? Like, no worries, mate. We got you covered. Now, from start to finish, you got about eight hours of playtime here. But of course, if you're like me, if you enjoy playing slower and you tend to get stuck at the slightest sign of a puzzle, this experience will probably be longer for you. I'm really hoping, by the way, that this launch is successful and we see Tombi 2. There is a second version and I loved the art direction that that game had and I would love to re-experience it. I'm actually surprised that this game is launching by itself and it's not launching with Tombi 2. So if you're the developer and you are watching this review, firstly, hey, thanks for getting this out. I'm glad modern gamers and myself can re-experience this. But seriously, dude, haggle, do whatever you need to be done. I want Tombi 2 and I'm hearing this from a lot of other Tombi fans. We really want to play that second one as well. Now to round this up, if you enjoy a PlayStation 1 style of graphics, vibrant use of color, adorable humor, and a game that does not take itself too seriously, be sure to check this game out for yourself. It's fun, relaxing, yet has plenty of challenges, especially if you want to find everything. That being said, God bless you all, take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.